Grab a sheet of plywood. First, I made a DIY projector from a cardboard box. Check Home Talk's previous tutorials to see how I made this. Using a cell phone light, I projected the image onto an upright sheet of half inch plywood in a dark room and traced the shape of the tree. I cut the extra area around the tree shape off the plywood and then used a jigsaw to cut out all the details. Jigsaws cut on the upstroke, so I made sure to cut with the good side of the plywood facing down. To make a star, I drilled a hole with one and a half or one and a quarter inch drill bit, starting from the back side and finishing it on the front side for a smooth finish. With the back side facing up, I cut the points of the star out using the jigsaw. I gave everything a really quick sand with 120 grit sandpaper. I swept it, wiped it clean with a damp rag, and painted it with exterior white latex paint. I cut a scrap 2x4 into a point at the end and then screwed it down the center of the tree with 1-2 to two feet sticking out the bottom. Then I used a staple gun to attach white outdoor string lights to the back of the tree. The strand was 16 feet long. Make sure that the lights do not stick out over the edges. You want them completely covered on the backside of the plywood. Repeat for as many trees or shapes as you'd like, and now you've got the best outdoor seasonal decor on your block. Bonus, it looks great during the day and the night. Time to head to Dollar Tree and grab some of these inexpensive foam boards. In fact, first thing I gotta do is put all of the foam that I have up against the window. I'm going to lay it on its side or straight up. It's going to give me kind of an idea of what I want to do. This one is a snowman. I did a silhouette with a projector and just put it right across the first foam board. Just outline all of it right around the edges. Doesn't have to be perfect, but we want to get a good outline. And that way it's easier to cut out. Place some cardboard under the foam board and you can use an X-Acto knife or any kind of razor knife to cut through. Best thing to do is go slow. Be careful, these knives are sharp. Just go ahead and start cutting all the way around the edges. Doesn't have to be exact, but just go ahead and cut. Make sure you get all the way through. There's nothing more frustrating than not being able to get it out. So once you cut it through, take little sections out at a time. That makes it a lot easier, especially on these bigger projects. On this next one, this is a bunny rabbit that we have that's standing up on its hind legs. I'm using a different knife on this one just to demonstrate that you don't have to stick with just the X-Acto knife. So we'll cut out the whole thing right around the edges and we'll just pop that rabbit out. If any edges stick, just use your knife, cut it around, and then just give it a pop. These foam boards come across and come apart nice and easy. Next thing we've got to do is we're going to put these silhouettes right up against the window. It doesn't take much but I'm gonna use some white tape for this. That way it doesn't show against the white background. So take the tape, circle it up on each other. It doesn't take much. For this one, I just needed two of them and I'm gonna place it in the window. Now, something I noticed was when I put lights behind my silhouette, the lights will show through. So take some black or royal blue and paint the back side of your silhouettes. Now. This might look like a mess, but it actually has a rhyme and a reason for it. Take those lights, these are 20 foot strands, and place it all up in the back of the silhouettes. Not too close to the edges, but as you can see, this is a test and it's gonna look really good. The next thing we gotta do is put another layer on. I took four pieces of the foam board, put them together with white tape, then did a cutout of a large Christmas tree and then put it on there. Now this one doesn't stick exactly against the window, but holds up a little bit because we're gonna put a little bit of a shadow in there. Once we do this, we're gonna head outside and we're gonna see what it looks like with it lit up. So here we go. With the lights on, you can see it. We added a little bit of blue behind the Christmas tree. There it is. And look at this, so amazing. Just lights it up for everybody out on the street to see. I hope this inspired you to build your own Holiday Window Silhouette My pieces of wood were 2 inch by 48 inches. I measured and cut those three pieces in half.
Those pieces of wood cut in half now measured 24 inches, and using five of them, I formed a star. Wherever the sections intersected, I stapled them in place. I attached 100 white lights to each side of the star using staples, and I tapped them in using a hammer just to make sure that they were secure. When my star was complete, I hung it on the trunk of a tree using zip ties. Some of my ties weren't long enough, so I just put two ties together so that they would fit around the trunk. I plugged three additional strands of lights to the cord on the star and secured it with a zip tie. These additional strands will make the tail of the star. Pulling the three strands tight, I zip tied those three strands to a pole and attached the pole to our fence so that the strands were higher than the star, making it look like a shooting star. This star was so simple to make, I made four more and hung them around my yard. I hope this inspires you to make just one or a whole galaxy of these simple stars that will have your neighbors driving by your house very slowly to look at this wonderful holiday display. The first thing I did was paint the bottom of each crate with the color green. Next, I placed some blue painter's tape in a triangle shape. I used chuck paint to paint the corners. I hot glued LED lights into place. I hot glued some Christmas bulbs into place. Once everything was done, I stacked all of the crates in this shape to create that Christmas tree look. For this tree, I started with a tomato cage turned upside down. I gathered the ends together and bound them using a zip tie. Using paddle wire, I started at the top of the cage, tying the wire around the supports as I made my way to the bottom. Then I added the lights going vertically from top to bottom, following the supports. After I had them vertically, I wrapped them horizontally at the tree, filling in any empty spaces. Adding a simple silver star topped off this sparkling, unconventional tree.